There's another one. All right, let me compare the heights. After I purchased the rubber plant from Lowe's, I took it home and repot the plant. And this is what the plants look like all cleaned up and repotted. This was seven days after the repot. As you can see, some of the leaves were already kind of diseased and sunburned, and but I gave it a chance and opportunity to thrive. And, put neem oil on it. and I have a new baby growing right there. This is an update on the rubber plant. What I am noticing is that rubber plants like extreme humidity. I'm in the zone of between seven and eight, seven and nine, I believe. And I left him outside so that he can, as you can see, it's the second baby that grew since the last video. It's so about, I'll say about three weeks. A second baby that unraveled and came out. However, I had cut this notch like in the beginning of the summer and it didn't do anything until I brought it outside and in three weeks of it being outside, no, about five weeks being outside it notch, but three weeks of being outside, it blossomed the baby and that's the new baby. And it has another sprout of baby coming another sprout a baby no these two babies been there but let me show you this is the guy I got from Lowe's he was pretty sun damaged but they grew a new baby right here right there and he is sprouting some down in there I don't see any new growth on the roots, but there you have it. So you live in a warm area. I would say your rubber plant likes to be outside just out of the sun. And this guy gets complete shade, no direct sunlight. However, he gets the morning sun and the afternoons in direct sun. So he's thriving, growing more shoots. Look at that. Oh, it's doing pretty good. I have to clean them up again. But overall, nice and healthy. I'm happy to see what's happening. So I spin them just so that he can get some more. But And the soil is cactus soil, um, rocks, and a lots of black sand. So he's actually getting a lot of sand in there. I may put a, a layer of rocks on, but I'm not quite sure because the roots want to do what they want to do. And the reason why I have it so far out like this because there's a huge root on this side. So I couldn't really balance them out that well. Maybe the next time I pot them. I'm not going to pot them until a year from now or if I see stock in growth. Okay, guys, there was an update of the rubber plant. And I'll show you how the Hawaiian plant is doing inside. Okay, guys. See you soon. Okay, good morning, guys. So, this is the pillow I found for six dollars. It was twenty dollars. I got it for six bucks. And look at the plant. Look at him growing so fast. I don't even want to bring him in in the winter, but I have to, or he'll die. But he is thriving out here because he was not trying to grow any new leaves, new babies. Now he's just sprouting. Look at that, guys. <clears throat> See, another baby. Another baby grew. They shed their leaf pod but there he is <laughs>